For those developers looking to create their own live video streaming app to connect to Wowza Streaming Engine or Wowza Streaming Cloud, we highly recommend Lyrix Broadcaster SDK and Lyrix Playback SDK. Both are available for purchase from softvellum.com. To test the capabilities for both broadcast and playback, we'll be installing the broadcaster and playback apps available on the Apple Store and Google Play. Lyrix Broadcaster is capable of streaming using the RTSP, RTMP, and SRT protocols. Lyrix Player can play back via RTMP, SRT, and HLS, along with a few other options. For this test, we'll set up Lyrix Broadcaster to stream RTMP to a locally hosted Wowza Streaming Engine instance and use Lyrix Player for playback via HLS. We'll also repeat this using Wowza Streaming Cloud. Now before you begin, make sure both the local instance and the two mobile devices for the app are on the same Wi-Fi network. Also, check to make sure what the computer's network address is. Sometimes this differs from the application connection settings and you will want to use the computer's network address. In Wowza Streaming Engine Manager, we'll go to Server and select Source Authentication. Here, I'll add a source with the username Denver and the password Boulder. Once it's been added, go to Applications and select the default Live application. Under Sources Live, you'll find the application connection settings I mentioned. If the IP address differs, use the network IP address. We'll format this as a URL for Lyrix Broadcaster to include source authentication. It will appear as rtmp colon slash slash the IP address colon the host port slash application name slash stream name. In Lyrix Broadcaster, use the cog. Under connections, hit plus, name the connection, then paste in the URL. You'll want to change the target type to RTMP authorization, and then enter Denver for the username and Boulder for the password. Save your settings and make sure the connection is checked before returning to settings and using back to return to the main page. Hit the big red button and your connection is active. In Wowza Streaming Engine Manager, you can verify the stream is working by going to Incoming Streams and verifying there the stream is active. In Lyrix Player, we'll play back the stream using HLS. With the plus, we'll name the stream Arvada and then enter the URL in the standard HLS format, which would be http colon slash slash IP address colon host port slash application name slash stream name slash playlist dot m three u eight. When you're finished, select Arvada and the stream will begin. Keep in mind HLS generally has a thirty to forty five second delay. This can be reduced by lowering the player's buffer size changing the encoder setup to low latency, going into the application setup in Wowza Streaming Engine and setting it for low latency, as well as going into the properties and modifying the chunk size. For a quick out of the box solution, consider using Wowza Streaming Cloud. You'll need to first create a live stream by going to the top and under live streams, choosing add live stream. Name the stream and set the location closest to you. Next, you'll need to choose your encoder, which in our case will be Other RTMP. For those who want to lower their latency, check the box to create an HLS stream with reduced latency. To keep things simple, we'll leave everything else as default and go right to finish. Now, for the Larix broadcaster, you'll need to use the primary server URL with slash and the stream name at the end. You'll use RTMP authentication once again 
with the source username and password. And Larynx Player will use the HLS playback URL. When you're ready to start the stream, click Start Live Stream. Once the stream started, you can then go into Larix Broadcaster and start your live stream. I'd give it about 15 seconds or so before you begin playback using Larix Player. All right, well that's it for testing broadcast and playback for mobile devices to Wowza Streaming Engine and Wowza Streaming Cloud. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.